Have you ever seen a robot so many times online that it starts to feel familiar? Like you've watched the clips, seen the moves, maybe even joked about it with friends, but suddenly it's right in front of you and it's real. That's what happened with the Unitree G1. Now from the photos and videos, I expected something big, like Boston Dynamics level towering. But when this guy stood next to it, the G1 was actually small, compact, almost like a portable humanoid sidekick. And surprisingly, that might be its biggest strength. Because what it lacks in height, it more than makes up for in features. And trust me, this little robot has some wild stuff built in. Today, we're diving into exactly what makes the G1 different, clever, and kind of underrated compared to its bulkier cousins. This isn't just hands-on, it's a feature deep dive. Let's see what this thing can really do. First thing that caught him off guard, the price. If you've seen Unitree's ads floating around, you might have spotted the G1 listed at $16,600. Sounds surprisingly affordable for a humanoid robot, right? But here's the catch. That price is for the Chinese market only. If you're trying to get one in the US, especially through resellers like Looking Glass XR, the actual starting price is closer to $28,000. So yeah, it's a jump, but that's the cost of getting it stateside, fully accessible and supported. The upside? These resellers make it a whole lot easier to actually buy one without having to jump through a ton of international hoops. It's not just a futuristic toy, it's a real purchasable machine right now if your wallet's up for it. Once he got his hands on the G1, what was it like to actually control? Out of the box, the base model is fully remote controlled, and using the controller is surprisingly smooth, forward, back, turning, it's all super responsive. There's zero laggy awkwardness, which, honestly, is more than I can say for some other robots I've tested. There's also a set of pre-programmed moves baked in. One of the go-tos? A handshake. Now, the hands on the standard unit are mostly just for looks, but Unitree does offer custom add-on hands that can actually perform functions. So, if you're thinking of utility or even light manipulation tasks, those options are already on the table. And yeah, you might have seen it dancing in some of the viral clips online, it can do that, but in this case, the space was a little too tight to risk a dance break. Still, all of those movements can be custom programmed, giving developers a ton of flexibility. Even just walking it around manually felt like a glimpse into what personal robotics could actually be like. It's not just a proof of concept, it's something you can control and experiment with today. Let's talk about how this thing sees the world, because it's not just walking around blind. The G1 is equipped with a depth camera and LiDAR, both built right into its face, that setup gives it serious environmental awareness. It's constantly scanning, mapping, and reacting to the space around it in real time, which is essential if you want a humanoid robot that's actually usable in real-world environments. And Unitree's clearly not afraid to show off its durability either. You've probably seen those clips where people push their robots to test stability, not to be mean, just to simulate real-world bumps and surprises. That's part of the G1 story too. It's not fragile, it's not just for a lab, it's designed to handle a bit of unpredictability. And that's a big deal when you're talking about humanoid mobility. So between the vision system and the structural balance, the G1 isn't just navigating the world, it's actively interpreting it. Now here's where things start getting futuristic. The G1 has a built-in microphone, and Unitree isn't just stopping there, they're actively working on ChatGPT integration, which could let you actually talk to the robot. We're not just talking about simple voice commands. This is aiming for full-on conversation. You ask, it responds, ideally with context, memory, and all the nuance that comes with natural language interaction. It's still in development, but the foundation's already there. Mics built in, software hooks are being explored, and once it's live, you won't just be steering your robot, you'll be talking to it. That's a whole different level of interaction. And honestly, it's what moves the G1 from just a robot that moves into something more like a real assistant or sidekick. One of the smartest things about the G1, it folds, like fully. This isn't just a robot that stands around looking cool. It's designed to be packed up and moved when you need to. The legs bend in, the body compresses, and it becomes a much more manageable size for shipping and storage. There's even an ultra compact version shown in some of Unitree's other videos where the legs actually cross over and tuck in tighter. It almost looks like it's in sleep mode, but from a logistical standpoint, that's a huge plus. You're not stuck with a five-foot-tall machine taking up half your space when you're done using it or need to transport it. Fold it up, box it, move on. Simple, practical, actually useful. 
While checking out the G1, he also got a peek at a couple of its robot cousins, the Unitry Go2 and the Go2W. The Go2 is a four-legged robot, and the W in Go2, W stands for wheels, giving it an extra twist in mobility. These things aren't just for show, they're running real AI under the hood, and they're just as interactive as the G1 in their own way. In AI walking mode, the Go2 plans out its steps, while you still control the direction. It's a nice hybrid of autonomy and manual input. And when you switch it to free avoid mode, that's when things get fun. The robot basically goes into self-preservation mode, backing up, dodging obstacles, reacting to anything in its path. You can even watch it in real time as it maps out the environment using its own LiDAR system. It's like watching it think on its feet or wheels, depending on the model. And just to flex a bit, there's also a handstand mode. Yeah, you heard that right. The robot literally flips itself onto its front legs and keeps moving. Slower, sure, but fully under control. Cool tech, absolutely. But it also gives context, because while these other bots are impressive, the G1 stands out by bringing humanoid functionality into that same playground. And here's something that really stuck with me. The way this guy interacted with the G1 wasn't just technical, it felt personal. You could see how intuitive it was for him to guide the robot, how quickly he adapted to its controls, like the learning curve was barely even there. That's a sign of solid design. It didn't look like a guy trying to figure out a robot. It looked like a guy working with one. That's the future we're heading toward. Machines that fit into human behavior, not the other way around. So after spending real time with the Unicree G1, here's what stands out not just as gimmicks, but as legit, functional features that make this thing worth paying attention to. Compact, foldable design, easy to store, easier to transport, smooth, remote-controlled movement, feels polished, not prototype, pre-programmed actions, like the handshake, with more custom ones possible, upgradable hands, swappable attachments for future functionality, built-in mic, plus chat GPT integration, coming, puts it on the path to true interaction, depth camera, plus LiDAR, real-time spatial awareness baked right into the face. Developer-ready, open-ended platform that invites customization. What makes the G1 really interesting isn't just the specs, it's the direction Unitree is clearly heading. This isn't just a showpiece, it's a platform, something developers and engineers can build on, not just admire. And yeah, it's not as tall or flashy as some of the giant humanoids out there, but that's kind of the point. It's smaller, more nimble, and honestly, more accessible. It's the kind of robot that feels like it could actually be useful, not just impressive. So if you're looking for a humanoid robot that's not just standing around but actually doing something, the G1's got your attention for a reason. And that's all, guys. If you found this video valuable, make sure you hit the like button and also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more of these kinds of videos. Thanks for watching.